here at independent.co.uk is a story by Richard Jinman entitled Brompton Cemetery, the sealed mausoleum believed to be a fully functioning time machine. Ray Godson and Stephen Coates are both keen to get their hands on a key to the thick bronze door that shields the entrance to an imposing granite mausoleum in Brompton Cemetery in West London. For Mr. Godson, a replacement for the key that went missing in the late 1970s would allow him to pay his respects to Hannah Cortoy, his great-great-grandmother, who was interred in the tomb with two of her three daughters. Mr. Coates' interest is rather more esoteric. He is keen to test a long-held theory that the tomb is a fully functioning Victorian time machine. If the door is opened, Mr. Godson expects to find a few dead birds and a lot of dust. Mr. Coates hopes to be whisked back to ancient Egypt, or, and this is his preferred option, to emerge from the tomb as a younger version of himself. In that case, get me to that tomb. Thank you, Takahama Olsen, too, for the super chat. TO2 says, I got two derpy dogs, a crazy cat, and a rabid rabbit to look after today. To look after today. A rabid rabbit. Thank you, TO2. Mr. Coates says, I'll certainly give it a go. He's a film composer with a long-standing interest in London and its myths, who wouldn't take the opportunity to travel through time. Mr. Coates is so keen to unlock the secrets of the Cartoy Mausoleum, or as it has been dubbed, the Cartoy Time Machine, that he has organized a storytelling event in the cemetery on the 20th of December to raise enough money to buy a new key. As he points out, you can't just go down to High Street and get a Yale key cut. What is required is a big copper Lord of the Rings job, and it will need to be made by a heritage locksmith, because the mausoleum is a listed monument. The idea that Hannah Cortoy's tomb is a time machine, a kind of stonewalled TARDIS, has been fermenting for years. It's based on a volatile mi mixture of historical fact, supposition, and unfettered flight of the imagination. Is it true that Hannah, it is true that Hannah, answered my own question, who died in 1849, was most likely acquainted with Joseph Bonomi, a well-known sculptor and, and Egyptologist, whose relatively modest gravestone lies only a few meters away from the Cortori Mausoleum. It is rumored that Bonomi designed Hannah's mausoleum, a theory given some credence by its pyramid-shaped peak and by the mysterious hieroglyphs inscribed on the walls of the tomb and on Bonomi's own headstone. The Victorians were fascinated with the idea of time travel, and some believed the pharaohs had discovered its secrets. Might Bonomi have learned the time travel trick during one of his expeditions to the pyramids? If he did, he could have passed it on to his business partner, a mysterious London inventor of naval weaponry called Samuel Alfred Warner, who was also buried in Brompton Cemetery. Warner's inventions included an invisible shell, or as Mr. Coates puts it, a bomb that could be teleported a short distance, a kind of psychic torpedo. Incredibly, the Royal Navy was so intrigued by Warner's metaphysical armament that it allowed him to stage several demonstrations. At least one ship was destroyed during these trials, although none of them offered conclusive proof of the weapon's efficacy. The connection with Warner and his psychic torpedo has convinced Mr. Coates that the Courtois Mausoleum is more likely to be a teleportation chamber than a straightforward time machine. He posits that it was part of a network of chambers erected in the magnificent seven cemeteries that were built in a ring around central London in the 19th century. The time machine myth received a significant boost in 2003 when the Scottish musician Drew Mulholland, who records under the name Mount Vernon Astral Temple, put a photograph of the Courtois Mausoleum on the cover of his album, Music That Destroys Itself. 
The doctored image shows an eerie vortex emanating from the doorway of the tomb. Mulholland says, I got fascinated by the idea of the time machine. The notion that it develops its own energy or current. Supporters of the time machine theory often claim it is significant that the Courtois Mausoleum is the only tomb in Brompton Cemetery for which there are no plans and no key. The time machine theory is a lovely idea, according to Dr. Robert Stevenson, a cemetery guide. Mr. Coates isn't put off by non-believers. He says, you know, some people are not a subscriber to the time machine theory, but that in itself is suspicious in my view. Ultimately, the, mis the mystery won't be solved until a new key is inserted in the lock and the heavy bronze door swings open to reveal the tomb's secrets. Mr. Coates says, perhaps we'll have an auction to decide who gets to step inside first. It will be interesting to see what happens to them.